Hello and welcome, you amazing person. My name is Rob. I'm the Manic Gaming Guy. Nailed it. Today, we're going to be playing a game of cars. I don't know where I'm going with that. I didn't even prepare for that line. I just said it randomly. Why? Why? I don't know. We're going to be playing some Assetto Corsi. You've probably seen it in the thumbnail or something like that or the title. And we're going to be playing the mod No Hesse. It does seem like No Hesse is Assetto Corsi these days. It has kind of taken over, which is a little bit sad. It's good because we all enjoy No Hesse. Bezzing through the traffic is brilliant. But it has limited the count of people that want to race. It'd be nice if you come over to my Discord if you want to race, and we'll make a group of people that like to race, and when we're all together, hopefully we'll go join the safe server or something and race. It's um, very upsetting. Um, uh, you'll hear me ramble about it later on. Anyway, let's jump over now to this beautiful game. I have recently upgraded my graphics card, so it looks very pretty now, and all my videos now hopefully in 4K and in your delightfulness. Eyeballs will just be melting with deliciousness of the graphics. You'll be like, mmm, these graphics are super nice. I like how smooth and nice it looks. Um, I did upload some filters from a YouTuber. I, I don't remember his name, I'm afraid. Um, it's like one of the top videos you see when you type in how to make it look better. Uh, the smoke is a bit too much. You can't see through smoke. That's the only problem. He obviously likes to drift and make his videos look cool. But when you're trying to best down the traffic and someone's crashing up ahead, it kind of makes it impossible. Imp possible to see through anyway i'm rambling on now it's been way too long you don't want to hear me talk for one minute 40 seconds let's jump over to the video shall we no hesi time in the set of course okay so here we are in a set of course on the no hesi mod on the srp spr it's the satoku revival project um, and uh, we're gonna be playing around in an evo today Normally, you would see me in the cockpit view, behind the wheel and having lots of fun. But this is a little bit of a cheat code to be in the chase cam view, because, um, well, you can see a little bit further ahead than normal. Normally, you can't see further than like one or two cars, but this way, you can see a lot further. Okay, now normally in a car, when you're just first trying it out, this is probably the second time I've driven it, you may have seen me in the other videos, uh, you want to muck about with your traction control. And that's because of the traction control trying to stop the wheels from spinning. So we put it in a set on level two. Have a little play. It is, it is still there, but it's just not as prominent. If we turn it off. Yeah, we're getting a bit more slidey. Uh, traction control is not helping whatsoever, and we're reaching the rev limit. So I think I like mine set to level two, please. So not full traction, but a little bit of traction. Remember, the first rule of no hesse: put your lights on. Ideally, full beam. To you know, because sometimes your graphics are terrible, and you need full beam. And uh, vice versa, someone else might have terrible graphics, and they need you to have full beam. Okay. So, let's take this car for a spin. You'll see, I have got the speed out in miles per hour. Uh, this car will do over 200 miles per hour, so it is a bit intense. And uh, we also will see the map to the left, and if you look very carefully around this area, you'll see us um, close to other cars. So we'll try and get up to one, and we'll see it across the map. And uh, there it is. I'm 
think he's in the M2, I think. He's changed his paintwork, so there's no uh, novice to this game. That's what he's doing. And the M2 is very good at handling, he's just had a bit of luck of coffee. Shoulder though, should we take the hard shoulder off? I think we should. Hard shoulders for emergency only when there's another way 
will get a two-second penalty. There we go. You use the hard shoulder. We'll get a two-second penalty. The hardest bit about no SE is the two lanes. It's mainly the hardest bit is timing the cards up front. Getting them ahead for your speed up down what past them to the top of the look at that to the right! Six and a half minutes to get to the other side. So let's try and do that. And let's try and make some friends on the way, shall we? I think I'm warmed up enough. Keep an eye on the score. I'm at 1.1 1. 1 million. I managed to do this run that I'm talking about now. I did it in the Honda Civic, the old school one. Uh, no, not that one. Um, it was the new school one. I think it was the 2003 model. I think that's the one we did. I did 4.4 million in the first season of this. Um, it would be nice to try and get some as close as like that. Uh, just by going from one end to the other. Don't you dare! Ah. Oh, that's painful. Oh, that's painful. Rule number two and no Hesse. 
have a reset button. A really quick and easy reset button. Yeah. And then you can get out of the way as soon as possible.
I'm bringing him here. That's in the two lane. Gaming guy, also known as Rob D. Rich. Feel free to jump over to Head Relaxing YouTube channel where I make my beats that you might have been hearing in the background. If I remember, remember to do the editing and put it in there, I probably did. Enjoy. Uh, I make out chill out stuff and drum and bass, whatever you, you know. Go look at the channel. Hopefully, you subscribe and like it. Uh, it's all copyright free, by the way. So, if you're a content creator yourself, feel free to use those videos to your demise, if that's the right word. Uh, yes, so that was uh, No Hesse, Assetto Corsa. We were on the expressway in Japan, driving like a lunatic in a Evo. I think I made a comment about no like, lack of Jap like JDM cars, but I'm I'm pretty sure the Evo is quite popular in Japan, so that was probably a bad statement there. I think because there's so many American cars and. Eastern Europe cars in it. I'm just like, where's all these beautiful S13s and like, where's the MR2 and where's like, I suppose I'm naming Toge cars. I do love a bit of Toge. You know what I mean? Uh, but when I joined a Toge server, they all sell for drifting. Like when you're in Toge, you want to gr be grifting. Sim racing guy knows what I mean. You want to be grifting in Toge. You want to be drifting. You want to be grifting, which is um. You know, I'm not going to go into politics. Let's not do that. I was about to talk about the drift kid himself and how he, you know, was drifting and he set the trend and stuff. And I bet he would prefer to be grifting than drifting. Even though he just loved the sport because he set it. Anyway, thank you very much for stopping by. Feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. Like I said, I do do a mix of content. I am a painted decorator, so I do work full-time, unfortunately. I can't just smash out content willy-nilly. Um, I do teach people how to make maps. I also make cars and teach people how to make cars in automation and the map makers in Beam and G. I will go to a set of course and do some map making soon enough when I've got more free time and just one stage at a time. I'm also making tunes, you know, and got all the time in the world. Anyway, I don't know what I was talking about. I ramble on too much. I hope you have a beautiful day. Keep it real, stay safe, and share that love. Bye-bye now.